Hello ladies and gents, I'm the Rev. This is Rebel Galaxy, the full released version, and today I thought we would start with the Scarab. This is a one hell of a badass ship that you can get, and I got it because I decided to get into the trading. And it has taken maybe half the time doing trading and um, running some of their drop missions, where you just run in, grab stuff, and run right back out, to make over a million credits and get this ship when we left off yesterday we were nowhere clear close to this kind of money and I've basically just been farming and like I said running and doing the trading so I'm gonna explain some of the trading real quick and then we're gonna hammer our missions out here Stop. so things you want to keep in mind when you trade every single station you go to you want to go to the bartender also and you want to ask him about what's going on if he knows anything and you'll see it hide up there well I'm sure we'll hit a mission and I'll, I'll show you when we hit a different thing uh, also you want to come to the guild office and you come in here meet this dude welcome to the merchants guild what can I do for you I want to join it costs 10,000 credits and then it gives Thanks you access to a couple of ships that you can't get uh, at any of the other stations. Um, one is the Turoth, and it is a light hauler, not a bad ship. I mean, it would be a good one to start with. After the first ship that they give you, if you can uh, get the credits together, it's not too bad. And then they've got the big old hauler here, this beast. This bad guy's got eight broadside ports, seven turrets, two secondary ports, three component banks, whole class heavy. So you might want to, you know, if you're going to work to get this bad boy, and I'm only halfway there, which is the sad port. I'm not, yeah, 1.8, I'm at 1.4, uh, to get this beast. So I doubt we'll get any of the real heavy stuff in this sector. I want to go to and get to the other area before we, uh, other areas in the game before we do that. So the other things you want to do, is there are certain terms you want to look for that when you're doing stellar map um, the trade and that is one is market glut so you can go into the market glut and you can see all the prices are in red which means they're all really really low so there are certain things at least for me that I've found and let's see, where's my cargo hold? Alien artifacts is one of them. That you almost always get a great price on. Pure water is another one. And the diamonds that they have. You want to, uh, the pure water and the diamonds, you always want to look for them for under 10 grand because you can get anywhere, you know, up to 20, um, 20 to 30 grand for them when they're in high demand. You know, some of these things, you know, you just pick them up as you're doing missions, you know, going in between doing drops and slowly build up and then you can make a killing. I've made half a million credits in one shot just by just going around and doing that. So there you go. So it's get that Turoth ship, talk to the bartenders, and you always want to look for market gluts. So you can pick up things that are a great price. And then, of course, you want to join the guild the traders guild here so now it is time for us see now for the next mission you can either go by the uh, om omnium or you can mine it and we're going to mine it so i can show you guys how to mine accelerating to sublight so let's get some Okay, so here we are, and what you're going to want to do is you want to hit Pulse. And you can see, for this one right here where it says Mineral Resource, you take and you look in your bottom right hand corner, you can change what things that you fire. Target locked. Ah, 
Oh, okay. You can see these guys the way these people float in here. They're they're very specifically shaped for this mission. Collision warning. Mission complete. There we go. Mission complete. So there you go. There is a quick tutorial on how to mine. It's really easy. Alrighty, guys. We're back. And real quick, I want to show you the commodities market here. You can see what I was talking about. Pure water. Boom. We already made 10 grand there. And we just made 20 grand right there. Now, if we'd picked up data cubes, we would have made a ripping on that. And here are the diamonds I was talking about. Now it's at 11. It's not bad. I'll be able to get 15 to 20 um, for them. So, there we go. Now let's visit the lab. Excellent. This Omnium will do nicely. Now, as for this device, it really is quite unusual. And I have made some excellent progress. Go on. They call this a specter, yes? It is apt, because I believe there is an intelligence contained within. Really? What sort of intelligence? We may never find out. It is only inert because of a lack of power which it is theoretically capable of absorbing. But centuries of carbon accretion have prevented this. Centuries, huh? Well, I have removed the carbon. However, the device has not reactivated. It may be nothing more than junk at this point. Oh, it's not. Please do not mention it. It is an interesting item, but I have wasted enough time. Excuse me. All right. Next mission would be... Engines at maximum. Oh. Language analysis on likely, complete. likely greeting. Initiating contact. Who or what are you? This actually, if the voice is the same and it does sound the same to me, this is one of the dev's wife, actually. And how are you using my ship's computer? I am nameless, or I have forgotten my name. My reliquary has become active aboard this vessel, and I have integrated with its simple systems. Oh, great. You already took over my ship, huh? I have not interfaced with life support, navigation, or weapon systems aboard this craft. My intention is not to harm. I suppose that's a relief. You mentioned, uh, oh, I'm not even going to try and say It that is the device in which I reside. I have drawn power from nearby sources in order to activate it, but I am confused. My reliquary is incomplete. My function is impaired. I desire information. All that said, I'm not sure I want you integrated into my ship. You need only remove my reliquary from your vessel in order to sever the connection. That power lies entirely with you. What is it that you want? As I have said, my reliquary is incomplete. I am confused. My memory is fragmented. I have reached out to you for help. And tell me, baby girl, how could I help you? While this vessel's systems are limited, I could utilize them to detect the fragments of my reliquary. In return, I may be able to offer assistance to you. In other words, we help her, we get upgrades. It is within my power to improve the function of this vessel. I propose an exchange. Help me recover my memories, and I will in turn advance the systems of your ship beyond their operating parameters. Do you agree? Yes. That is acceptable. I have detected a fragment within this solar system. I am providing you with the approximate coordinates. Although the signal is indistinct, it may be inside a larger mass. We'll go check it out. How do we contact you again? You may summon me at any time through the command interface of this vessel. Hmm, that's a helpful thing. 
Let's see. Pull sector map. Okay. So, system. You can see all my turrets. Oh, I got six now. Ship. Mission log. You can see I got rid of all my other missions. Cargo hold. Okay, well, I don't know how we're supposed to do it, but anyways, we'll see you guys in one second once we get to the next waypoint. And yes, there will be combat in this mission. Sublight boosters depleted. Initiating contact. This location appears to be accurate. I cannot quite identify the exact source, however. It is likely that it is within some of the wreckage. And how do we find out which one? I will continue to refine the search and then... Wait. Ships are entering the region. Their weapon systems are active. I believe their intention is hostile. Yeah, let's get some. Legend warning. Enemy craft. Alright. Pulse. There Holy you crap. Are. Look at all right of Right where he said you'd be. Money in the bank. Nope. And I recommend we're gonna have to kill all of these guys just about. Sublight boosters depleted. Missiles inbound. Did you go out to the edge? Don't stay in the sun. Whatever you do. Missiles inbound. I have pinpointed the location of the fragment and Hold identified on. it for you. Scavenging the wreckage should recover it. Missiles inbound. Bounty detected. Accelerating to sublight. Exiting sublight. Okay. Collision warning. Full stop. You have located it. Excellent. Initiating contact. I have integrated the fragment into my reliquary and recovered some small part of my memory. I confess, it is a relief. They are not whole, and I cannot reconcile them all. I can recall the name I was given. I was, am, called Trell, at least. That is the closest approximation in your language. Sounds better, Inspector. You have helped me, and so now I will return the favor. I have analyzed this vessel for likely improvements, and there are two that I can readily offer. Booster efficiency could be easily increased. However, I can also perform a similar modification for deflectors. And it's all about your style. Personally, I'm going to take the booster capacity. As you wish. The modification is now complete. Now, makes me wonder... For now, I must analyze my recovered memories. I do not believe any more fragments of my reliquary exist within this solar system. However, I must study further before being certain. Okay. So what I wanted to see real quick... Ship. Okay. Oh, surplus. Ooh, what's this? 
Oh, it's a cheap at Oh, okay. So I got the deflector. Okay, so what I wanted to look at... Oh, no, it's not. Okay. So I wondered if we got charged in our subsystem, it took up one of our slots. No, it did not. And then I have the Slamjet Booster. Basically, at this point, I have the most expensive of, I think, just about everything that you can get. Uh, the only stuff I can do more now is, uh, depending on the ports that I get. Engines at maximum. Accelerating to sublight. Let's see. Exiting sublight. Ah, lunto kaya. Anto mo siyang talento po ko tanta ringa. Siyang dove la portaya. Anto ko pa. Incoming hail. Okay. okay, new troubles fast. What are the details? Yeah, if it goes sideways, I know where to find you, ass. Mm -hmm. You know, if this was Star Trek, I'd call him a Ferengi. Voice analysis indicates that this individual is prone to deceit. Excuse me, that was obvious, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yes, it was. Okay, so still I'm figuring out how to pull her up whenever I want. You guys can see here on this pause screen that I'm very good with the uh, citizenry and the system military. And that's basically, like I said, I've been doing the drops. All you gotta do is pay attention to the missions. It's not that hard. Um, and you can, you know, be wherever you want to be. Alrighty, folks. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching. We may or may not have the same ship for the next episode. I don't know. I think we might. I don't know. It depends. If the next mission is the one I think it is, it's going to be like a massive battle. So I might want to get the, uh, the other ship that I want in this sector. And I know I said I didn't want to do that. I want to see the other ships. But, again, you can upgrade your ships as you go. So... It just depends, man. Look at all of these things. I don't know, that's pretty cool, man. I really like This is a cool looking ship. Accelerating to sublight. The artisan in this really is fantastic. Anyways, as always, I'm the Rev. I want to thank you for watching. This has been Rebel Galaxy. And I'll see you next time. So keep your heads down, your guns up. And I'll talk to you real soon.